and welcome back everyone well we got spring now finally starting and uh we're starting to get ready for the you know spring upcoming season and as you can see you know i'm out in the garage today and we started going through some of our stuff and i just wanted to like kind of like show everybody like what what can happen and how to prepare for it so um as many of you know you know we do landscaping work and we always budget like in our budget we always budget like a little extra in case equipment breaks uh or something goes down and i know some people have said on my channel before uh some of the equipment that they have seen um from like you know snow plow or whatever mowers whatever a lot of people have asked me like well you know how's that home equipment working out well you know sometimes you have to buy home equipment especially when you're starting and you're trying to keep your cost under control um you know as long as i believe as long as you um do the maintenance on them and keep them ready to go and like i say, i'll be showing you that on our mower um you know how we get them ready for the spring and all that but you know the home equipment does work good and all that but then again there are some times where you do buy a piece of um you know commercial grade you know commercial grade equipment the bigger name and uh some things break so we have here we have one of our uh, handheld blowers and we use this one you know to get into um uh, all our little tight spots like under bushes things like that well what happened was as you can see i forgot to show you but as you can see right here the starter rope ended up uh pulling out and breaking so we took it all apart we took the screws all out and found out that let me show everybody i don't know how well you can see that on camera right here but you can see like right here right where the spring was attached into the um into the plastic housing right here this ended up breaking now mind you this is a commercial grade uh handheld blower and there's no way to repair this i have been trying for like the last hour and it just will not um will not hold in here since this little piece of the plastic housing like this broke now i could probably get um replacement piece of housing like this but there's only one problem because this was already all loose and everything um what happened was is the spring ended up uh unwinding and that's not good so instead of trying to like recoil the spring in here i think what i'm gonna do is is i already looked it up um i already looked it up uh to see like what it would cost me to quite possibly get this one back up and running and uh let me grab over here real quick and i can show everybody also not only did we have um not only did we have issues with the starter but we also had issues with our pipe here um you can't really see it but we had to put screws in it because this pipe uh kept coming loose but it got a little bit damaged but it looks like over in the off season here it looks like it kind of popped its way back out so we might we might be able to save this and reuse this on um on our blower because this just ends up uh attaching just like that and then there you go so then you have the blower or the other way around sorry <laughs> other way around like this there we go like that then uh you can end up you know like i say this is a really handy little blower uh to get you know underneath bushes and things like that i looked like i say as i was saying i looked up the price the price is about $45 to get a brand new starter rope and everything. Is it really going to be worth the $45, you know, to buy a piece or get a piece shipped here or, you know, find somebody in, a, in an area that might um, have this kind of brand of, uh, you know, leaf blower to have it fixed? A lot of people would probably say, nah, you know, just go ahead and get rid of it, blah, blah, blah. But I think it would quite possibly be worth it just due to the fact is is that i already have a bigger blower for like 
the lawns and the pavement and things like that. I do need a smaller blower like this. And because since our winters were so warm this year, uh, I have not really even uh, had the chance to, uh, uh, you know, make money basically this year in snow removal. So I'm kind of starting this season off where I'm going into spring cleanups and things like that where it's a little uh, tight, you know. So I think what I might do is, is I might just end up ordering the part and when it comes in, I'll show everybody how we're going to put this all back together. We'll do um, our normal preventive maintenance on it too. We'll, we'll um, lube up all the moving parts like the switches, uh, all the metal parts. We'll spray those, you know, make sure those aren't corroded. Um, you know, just give it a good cleanup, good tune up, change the air filter in it. And I, yeah, the air filter's right in the back here. But, um, you know, we'll kind of do all that stuff and we'll probably get this one back up and running. Because, like I said, I really don't want to get rid of anything right now just due to the fact is, is that, you know, as you're starting your own home-based business, it's kind of hard. And, like I say, you know, you do the best you can with what you got. And sometimes that means not only are you, you know, like I like I try to tell everybody when they, when they say to me, like, when I'm out by myself, because I mostly do this on my own, you know, they're like, oh, you're, you're the guy. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm... I'm the mower, the snowplower, uh, bookkeeper, owner, repair man. I says, you name it, you know, you, you have to do it basically when you're running your own business. So like I say, so this is one piece of equipment that will show you how that ends up getting fixed. Um, we have our mower that we're going to get ready uh, for our spring cleanups. Basically what we do is, is we just mulch the leaves, whatever leaves were left, and then vacuum them up with our smaller uh, lawnmower. But we gotta get um, we gotta get the blades changed on the rider. We gotta get a new shoot uh, guard on it because last year we had some issues with that. Probably tune that up too. We'll get a new spark plug. Make sure the tires are all in good shape. Change the oil filter, air filter, uh, everything like that on that one. We'll show you that, and we're also gonna show you. Um, basically we got to get our trailer ready too um we have to add on like um one piece of equipment for our gas cans and all that plus i'll show everybody here real quick too plus we also got last year the fender came off it was during our fall cleanups and luckily we saw it it was hanging on by one little weld and if you look here on this back side real quick you look here you can see it was basically welded like it was tack welded right here on the corner and right there on the corner yeah, i think it was tack welded or it was um or it might have been screwed in but either way um we're gonna we're gonna get that taken care of uh we're gonna get that re-welded repainted um, we have to fix the gate, uh, just due to the fact is, is that the gate broke too. Cause like I say, uh, you know, it's not that we're using cheap things. It's just everyday wear and tear and, you know, up and down and, you know, this and that and yada, yada, yada. So we got, um, you know, got some things to fix, um, like a broken light cover too. I'm just looking at the trailer here right now. Um, we got a broken light cover, the broken pins, the fender, restain the wood deck, um, get the bores all ready, get all the equipment ready. And we have to basically have this all ready within the next uh, two weeks or so, because I believe starting next week, I'm gonna be getting out and we're gonna be starting um, spring cleanups and lawn fertilizings. And I'm gonna show everybody those this year. We're gonna sh uh, show you like how we do the granular um, one and when to do it. We do, we do basically a two mix. We do a two and two. We do spring and fall as the granular and then summer or spring and, or, um, spring and fall as granular, early summer and late summer as the liquid in the tank. And um, like I said, I'll show you more of that setup, you know, as we go down the road here. But like I say, now that the weather's finally starting to cooperate, I'm hoping to, you know, show everybody what it's like, you know, to be a small business owner and, what you got to do to make it through. So 
All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. And again, you're new to the channel, you know, hit that subscribe button. And if you could give the video a thumbs up because it really gets it out there. And we'll see you guys next time right here from the Walski Group. Take care, everyone. See you later.